Go. And part of how to solve a uh, super square one uh, star prism. And uh, you just want to, on the top layer, you want to find where uh, you can connect two different cubes so that, like, yellow would be next to yellow. Basically like you did in the first one, except kind of a little harder, I don't know. You have to use algorithms this time. So, I know I need to move, to connect these two greens, I'd have to move this over to here. So, I'd flip it, I'd flip it directly, and do algorithm A. And make sure you you remember which where you did the uh, like if I turned it one and did algorithm A again that messed this side up. Uh, remember how you did algorithm A on this side and flip it. And I want to find uh, if I do algorithm A again on this, it's gonna move this into the correct place. But right now, it's if I did algorithm A, that would mess the bottom side up. So uh, move two pieces that if you switch them, it won't matter. Like if I switch these, it's not going to do anything bad because they're not essential. I just need to move that to there. Uh, so then flip it over again, do algorithm A again. And now you should be back to the correct four pieces in a row. Uh, and now that swapped that with that, and I just need to move that to there. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, algorithm A on this side, which is and now these three are connected and. Uh, this is a case where you have the correct orientation on the top, but not the correct orientation on the bottom. You need to switch that with that. And if all you need to do is just one, two, uh, one swap where they're two away, like they're one away from each other, then what you want to do is put those two in the bottom right so that uh, one's in the bottom front right and one's in the bottom back right. And do what you want to do is algorithm B, which is R U two, R U prime two, over and over. Hello. You know, flip it. So that oh and this should be in the correct orientation uh, these four should be lined up or these four or however you did it uh, and then uh, do algorithm A then B3 and algorithm A again and that should solve the cube or solve for the fine for the final step it's it's like orientating like the top three cubes on like the top three corners for the last step of uh, the solve on a normal three by three uh, and now what you're gonna want to do is uh you get the four correct pieces so are there in bottom left three quarters of the cube uh, get the two unsolved pieces so they're there and there and two unsolved pieces on the bottom so they're there and there so here and then do L and do algorithm A then U3 and algorithm A again And now you just solve the rest of the cube. So turn it so that the yellow half and matches up with the red half on the top and turn. 
Uh, that should solve the top and bottom layer. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the video here and put part three for the middle solve next. Uh, click on the three. Oh yeah, no t annotations. So high tech and awesome, aren't they? Oh yeah, they're just amazing. Just okay, click the three. And you, you, you don't have to do that much. Just click the three. Just right there, click the three. Right there, it's an annotation. It's uh, click the three. Okay. Okay, you're not clicking the three. I was expecting you to click the three by now. Um. Fine, if you really don't want to click the three, um, click the twenty. Okay, that was freaky. I grabbed a random card and it was twenty-three. Anyone who believes in the conspiracy is awesome. And click the twenty-three. It's, it just click it now.